Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up network print for your Kyocera copier. Uh, you definitely need to know which model you have. Uh, I'm going to be using an older model, which is a Kyocera 2552 CI. Uh, I have Windows 10 on my computer. So um, if you have Windows 11 or an older version uh, of Windows, it's it, the process is the same, it just, for example, Windows 11 just moves everything around. So you just have to kind of figure out where, where it's at, but it's really the same process. So um, one thing you do not want to do is use a Windows self-installer where you just add a printer and Windows will automatically find the best driver for you. They usually pick generic drivers and it's going to cheat you from all the features that the, the drivers made for your machine have. Uh, for example, if you have any finishing options on your Kyocera copier, like a stapling finisher or a hole punch or a booklet maker, you're not going to see that in the universal drivers from Windows. So you you want to download the drivers for your specific machine. Okay. So having said that, I'm going to open up Chrome where I already have Chrome opened up here. And I'm going to type in Kyocera 2552CI drivers. And make sure that you look for the Kyocera drivers, not the UK, if you see this UK here. I mean, I'm sure it's going to work, but it's not the drivers. Just like here, you see Europe, you, you see Europe here. You want to get the ones from the US. So this looks like it might be the right one. So you click here. Now, you got to accept cookies if you want. So there it is, USA. And I'm going to... CS is a copy star, but it's the same thing. C, uh, copy star and Kyocera are exactly the same thing. So you can search for your Kyocera if you want your Task Alpha 3552CI, but those uh, the CS will work just fine. But let's just go ahead and uh, since my machine the Kyocera Task Alpha, I'm going to select this. And now it's going to find the operating system that you have. So if you don't know what your operating system is, just go to the just right click on the start button, go to System. And it should tell you right here, you got a 64-bit uh, Windows 10. Windows 10 right here. And 64-bit right here, okay? Uh, but usually the computer smart will find it for you. Um, I'm going to close this here. And now we're going to download the driver, okay? So we want to do just a print driver here. So we're going to download this. going to ask you to accept. Let's see how far we are in the download. It's still in progress. Okay, so that finished. Sometimes it takes a while depending on your internet speed. So here's my download. Here's the folder. It's all zipped up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Go to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Kyocera Drivers. I'm going to go back here to the downloads. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it to my Kyocera Drivers. Where the heck? Here it is. I'm going to paste it here. Now I'm going to extract. Okay, so you got to open up this folder. I'm going to extract. I like using a 7-zip for extraction. So much easier to use. You could use any extractor you like. Okay, got to wait for it to extract, and there you have it. It's, uh, it's all set up there. So now um, we're going to go into the uh, control panel uh, to add a printer. There's many ways to get there, add a printer. You can type in add a printer, but I always like to go into the control panel here, do it the old-fashioned way, select devices and printers. I'm going to click add printer. It's going to try to search. I always like to just uh, bypass this and create my own. <laughs> Again, um, you need to know your machine definitely has to be on your network. You have to know the IP address of your copier. And if you don't know, if you haven't assigned an IP address to put your machine on the network, I do have a link on the description to show you how to install your 
copier onto your network. So assuming that your copier is on the network and you know the IP address, let's move forward, okay? So we're going to add a local printer. We're going to click Next. We're going to create a new port. We're going to select here TCP IP. We're going to hit Next. Now the IP address is, or the host name is going to be the IP address that you assign the copier. So the IP that I assign my copier is, okay. Now make sure this is checked off. You're going to hit next. And now for the drivers, this is where, you know, you want to make sure that you, you select have disk and you browse for that driver we just downloaded, okay? Sometimes it automatically find it for you, but I'm just going to confirm that's what it is. Uh, so I'm going to go over to Carousera Drivers, click on that. I'm using 64-bit, so I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click here, OEM Setup. Oops. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, I give you a whole bunch of drivers. These are all the same. You could select whichever one you want. This is just the name. A lot of times what I do is I just select any of them, and I go next, and then I just highlight it here. So I don't have to sit there and be finding the right name. Sometimes I can't find it. So I'll just put Kira Sarah, uh 2552 CEI. I put too much here. Okay, so just like that, it's just a name, uh, so you can find it easier on your list of printers. Okay, you hit next, let it install. This sometimes takes a lot, little longer than other times, so just be patient. Okay, so now it finished installing. Um, I usually don't like to share this printer. You can if you want, if for whatever reason you have a reason why you want to share it. I usually like to set up the printer on each and every computer. That way they're not dependent on this computer. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at do not share. Hit next. Uh, whether you want to set it up as your default, most likely you do. You'll select that. I'm not going to because I already have a default printer in my office here. And now uh, click on print a test page and go to the copier and see if it printed. If it is, just hit finished and you're done. So uh, hopefully this video helped you out and uh, good luck guys.